So what we see here today, we're going to talk about uh, kyphosis and you can see this rounded back up here. So that's what mean the spine is like this. Those faucets is open and it's really good to do a little like a rib springing and uh, what I'm doing, but I'm, what I'm doing right now, you can see sometimes those vertebrae is tilted to the side. I'm going to show you what I mean here. So what I'm doing here, I'm taking my two thumbs and I'm slowly going to move by the spine and laminum groove and I what I, what I want to feel if any vertebra push me up and or push me on the side and what I'm see here so this one is up the right side is up now I'm see where's the it changes and here we go it's still here it's deeper deeper and it stopped right here so the whole the whole this side is twisted this way right so what we want to do we want to correct that and usually yeah, i ask the client breathe and yeah just work on that spots take a deep breath mm -hmm. And I'm also know this one is deeper, right? This is side is deeper, so I can come up on this side and place my hands up here, create contraforce and kind of push it up. Okay. Twist, twist that spine gently. Okay. And see if we can remeasure again and see if we did any, everything. If not, we can find some, some other technique. And what I'm doing here, I'm just go around the spine again. And what I'm see, it's it's much better. It's much better. Uh, it's still right in here. So you can work individual. Push those uh, erector sp spinal muscle. Just on the side. Okay. And I also want to work on the laminum groove. This is called tuna, and I'm always go from top to, to the bottom. So go this direction really gently. Work vertebra by vertebra. I think I need a good oil. You can stop. So the idea is to work only on those erector spinal muscle. You, you, I see some people, they push all the way up here, and they start, they start get the scapula. Uh, working like under the scapula muscle it's not right because the scapula is already you can see on Dennis it's mm -hmm. slide off from the rib cage the idea is to get the scapula back so all those uh, lats muscles to lower to medium trapezius you want to push in so you want to get that you want to get that scapula back up here but what most people do I'm gonna show you it just because people feel good you see that scapula pops up what they do you can lock it in or you can ask him to grab the arm and what people do they come up they grab and they pull that scapula this way and for some people it's like oh it feels so good it's painful <laughs> you already stretch the weak muscles so you pull the weak muscles away the idea is to get that back and this is what i do i grab this arm i put it right here you can hold it or if person can go you leave it up here but then it's okay I come up here you can see I grab this shoulder just like that mm -hmm. now my back is straight I'm apply my palm to this uh, uh, scapula now I lift it really gently I really gently lift it up and what I'm doing here I rotate the scapula back okay here we go now I ask the dentist push forward. He's activate those muscles and let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. You see, he's pushing too much. It's okay. And this is what I do. And next one, and you can see the difference already. Next one, yes, I want to reactivate all this muscle. I don't want to stretch them. So in this case, we work only here, only here gently. You don't push much, right? Okay, next one, you can ask him to reactivate his muscle. He's gonna grab muscle, I mean the hands, and what, what I'm gonna ask him to try to, to try to reactivate his muscles. Yes, like a squeeze. And what I'm doing, 
I help him out. You see how he's working? Yes, and I'm put them together, make them stronger, not make them weaker. I don't want to stretch these muscles. This is where it's kyphos. Okay, and another mistake what people do, I'm letting go, and you see how he's already better. You see this redness? We don't apply a lot of oil. If you apply oil, you just you just work the top muscles and skin. It's not doing anything. But medical massage, this is what's this is what we do. I don't I don't say nothing against aesthetical. Classic Swedish massage is good for you for you, just uh, for general health. But to change people, you need to do medical massage. But anyway, so the thing is, so. Another, another thing, sometimes people come in and they, they said, oh, I experienced the pain, pain in my, low, low, my upper body. And in this case, you can see he's rounded, but some people come in and they spawn spine in. So spine is deep inside or flat. It's called dors uh, dorsal dish and you don't need to push. And I see what people do. They start digging it. They start pushing the spine in. It's already in. In this case, I'm going to show you. So this is already everything locked. You see, the spine is like that. And you push more, you lock in more. So this, this, this spinal process is gonna push against the spinal process and create more, more problems. And you can slide the disc forward and, and yeah, right in here. So you make more problems. So make sure you don't, you don't work on the uh, dorsal dish, it's flat or spine in. You, you work really gently you want to the spine is pop up you don't want to push in and that's that's what the most people sometimes people come in and say can you just push on my spine i just want that like the last guy he's he's like pushing on my spine and feels so good and in a couple of days and what i see he's he's already flat and i just tell him i can't do it the best idea you can uh, release the pecs muscles and uh, get those exercise to to create that curve and that's what's what's happening. They don't have to rest a curve. Yeah. So you need to get this is this is a little, little bit rounded. Yes, you can work. You can do a springing. This is how I do. I'm not pushing on the spine. I'm standing right here, and I just ask to breathe. Just breathe. And when he's breathed in, I just push a little bit, five pounds, and I stay here. I not let him let him breathe. Uh, I not release it. So keep breathing, Dennis. You see, he's breathing. And when he's exhale, I, I apply a little bit more pressure. Okay, more pressure. So he keep breathing. And more pressure. And when he's breathing, I'm relaxed, I'm releasing. So this is called rib springing, okay? And you can also work, uh, see which side is breathing better. So which, which, which muscle is... Uh, we have a dystrophy, which muscle is contract, which muscle is weaker. I'm apply here and ask him to breathe against me. Yeah, this rip is really good popping. You can apply here. I have to be in the camera side, but I'm just going this way. Take a deep breath on this side. Yeah, this one is a little bit limited. So we really we need to work on that side, reactivate these muscles, okay? That breathing diaphragm muscles. The problem most with people, they don't know how to breathe. We have a mechanical problem, the postural problem, it's maybe because it's a seating. That's the seating, it's the biggest problem in our society right now. So, this is the upper body. I need water. <laughs> okay, I'll just pause. Yeah, you let, let it go. Mm -hmm. okay. So what we do in here, we reactivate the upper, upper muscles of the, the, I mean the body, the persons. So I give him the, the four pounds band, and what he's do, he just, little bit extend his shoulder uh, extends the shoulders yeah so it's extension and what you do he just spread this band and what I'm doing I just feel it yeah and you just in and out in and out yeah continue doing slowly don't rush and this is what I do I'm reactivated sometimes you can be more brutal like especially for the guys and if you girl and this is feel really great you can check extension and flexion of the shoulder and recheck it again and see what you did and going to be the result is going to be amazing okay let it go so, so before before we do that you ask him to extend and see how he go far the 55 degrees have to be extension of the shoulder right so can you do it by yourself extension just to raise 
You see, it's really good. It's really good. And also we can check extension, uh, internal external rotation of the shoulder. You gently lock it in, asking to raise it this way. Go ahead. And you see this is super limited. They have to be 90 degrees. And go backward now, this way. Uh-huh. Don't raise your shoulder. Make sure he's not cheating. Yeah, he's good up here. So the problem is he's rounded and his shoulder is rotated forward, right? So the scapula is already slide off. So the idea is pull it back and reactivate its muscles, okay?